and we are back. So with only one star right now, I can't really do much. Of course, we got the floors, each tier, and the Department of Joke levels, which I already saw. The Department of Characters. The elevator is offline, and Ignoritus has got the star key. Nothing's here, so I really cannot go up the elevator. And we got the star door. Ooh. Exclamation mark. And I don't notice that. Uh, particular star doors. Hmm. The point is, though, I do not have enough stars at this time, so all I can really do... Well, just, just those two remaining levels that had only one star each in this room, and then maybe I'll worry a little bit later. Hmm. I cannot enter that still. Got Bullet Mountain. Might go well with a situation like this, a level with a whole bunch of bullets in it. So, in we go. We'll challenge ourselves. Maybe we will challenge ourselves. Sometimes it's crazy, and again, thinking you can't even hit those question mark locks or get anything out of them. Well, of course you can hit them. You can even stand on them. At least you hope you could stand on them. In this case, you can. So, a bullet mountain, but not a lot of pain from the bullets. Just a few, so far. Subject to change at any time. Let's jump. Launchers are subject to change at any time as well. Possibly fire a bit more frequently. Well, these ones aren't doing it more frequently. They're pretty, they're pretty lenient to me. Heights, though, not quite as lenient, forcing me to go up and down again. As long as I don't have to fall, guess where a bullet's going to be? A bullet that I couldn't even jump on. The bullet mountain, it's still possible that could happen. I saw something, too. So you jump up to this. Two more question mark blocks. One of them, uh, apparently having a one-up, because... I'm pretty sure many of these people were not expecting a level inside the tower, or a joke level inside the tower that allows you to gain infinite lives. There was one in Tower of Bias 4, and I think there might have been another one too, so... Do you think they would have caught on by now? <laughs> and uh, tried to punish the player for it. At least the ones designing the levels. Not necessarily the one who's arranging the tower together. Okay, so we go from bullets to huh, possible uh, something possibly more painful than a bullet. Hmm. It'd burn me faster than a bullet ever could, I would think. Hmm. Something about it, the lava itself might also be faster than uh, a bullet like this. Well, even faster than... What can I think of? It's, uh, it's so fast that you could never outrun it, at least in a Mario game. Can't think of anything right off the top of my head right now. It might come to me, though. So we've already got the fire flowers. I don't really need that right now. As long as it's not going to punish me for leaving it there by giving me that uh, little error to do with the lava. No lava's rising, so I think I'll be spared. And I'm good, we are through this. Pretty sure we can only get one more star from this now, unless I try Lemmy's one more time. Again, the way it is here, it is impossible for me to do it. Really impossible. Well, right there. If only the coins could make up for some of the stars. In the type of universe where you have to pay for stars using coins. If only it worked here. But it's not really that easy. Even though in both cases, the star isn't exactly being used for invincibility. Huh. I guess we were at the top and we got the lava as well. Hmm. It's supposed to be just like that, I see. Ooh, propellers. It's hot down there. Be careful. 
I don't even want to touch that platform. It sinks too quickly. And of course, again, Mario's foot still cannot handle it. Oh, those mechanics. As we go around... Well, we're back to this, but we've got the propeller blocks, so maybe there was something that I missed. There doesn't seem to be anything that I missed. Well, let's just, I suppose, fly with the propeller block back to where I was before. He's as close as possible, anyway. As quickly as possible, probably. Now we're back, but now, since I haven't done this yet, this... We gotta know what's here. I don't want to know why I'm... Uh, yeah. But I did suspect that the lava was going to rise. However, I can get up quickly enough. It's not much of an issue at all. Anything more here? No, just this star. And, I don't know, maybe I'll have to pull it to a, uh, a last resort. Hmm, what to do here? This one spot, the bottom, this elevator to the left. For some reason, well, in the original level, I could tell that uh, there was supposed to be a red switch right there, but uh, it didn't appear for me. I had to add it in myself. And with that, that toad's locked away there. Still get this coin regardless. Again with the red switch, though. It'll allow us to get the yellow switch. If we get back to the top, hopefully we can get back to the top with no problem. Yellow switch wall's right there, anyway. One more. Well, very little trouble. We've still got these balls bouncing around. Enter at a chance. Uh, enter for a chance for a checkpoint. Let's see how many. How many. Uh, Toads that there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I counted eight. Yeah, again, enter for a chance at a checkpoint. Under the impression, well, the checkpoint is not going to appear if you press the wrong one. Hoping it's just as simple as that. That it will not kill me if I press the wrong one. That hologram that is acting funny is up ahead. Sure. Shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I want to get to that hologram. End to these nightmares. What? What did that cat ask you to do again? Cat. Who's a cat? Which one? Peach or Toad? Yeah, I'm thinking Peach, because, uh, well, again, uh, she floats like that, but uh, there might still be something else to it as well. What is it I was thinking of? Well, uh, yeah, being able to float definitely helps here. I want to be careful where I land on Lemmy. Yeah, I want to do that, uh, as long as Lemmy is gone, something good. We can pick up this star, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I shouldn't have jumped in. I didn't, I didn't think the water was still going to hurt, even though Lemmy was in it, but uh, apparently it does. We got the pathway cleared here, and instead of a star, we have that. I feel kind of awkward now. I had to modify the level itself just so I could get to four stars. And now I have five. I feel like I want to pay one of those back. Uh, you do realize I'm superior to you, right? You really do not look superior. Your arms... Well, your legs are alright, but your arms... Uh, doesn't look like you have any bones left there. If Quill wants to discuss it, I couldn't care less. Let this come down. Uh, I can jump on it. 
I assume it's not gonna go back up again. If it did, it would come back down. Thanks for rescuing me, buddy. I was busy not making levels for the Apocalypse of Foros 2 when Ignoritis suddenly appeared with incredible speed and kidnapped me, I guess. I heard Voltaire and Quig are still locked away somewhere in this tower. You should probably help them since you get a free star when you beat the person who kidnapped them. It's totally worth it. If you didn't get a star, I wouldn't bother. And the star does not... Well, since I'm outside, it does not end any sort of level. It would make sense. Doing that to... Like a white star? I guess so. We'll see you next time.